So, who are you, and where do you come from, and why are you here? And tell me a little bit about yourself, your history as a Catholic worker. Right. Uh, I'm Michael Sprong. I live at the Yankton Catholic Workers serve at the Emmaus House. We do hospitality for women and children who are visiting loved ones in prison. Uh, and we're general prison support for families in South Dakota. Uh, we also do uh, peace and justice work in our little town of Yankton, 13,000 strong, uh, the city, uh, and, uh, and try to live in community and do the Catholic worker thing. I'm here because I haven't been here in a very long time. Many good friends uh, came to the Des Moines Catholic Worker in 1981 off the streets, and they let me stay. Right and the Catholic Worker became my vocation. Um, I haven't done anything else because I can't find anything better. All right. So uh, that's uh, that's why I'm here, and it's always good to uh, connect again with folks. It's it's one of those things. It's balm for the spirit. Uh, it's uh, it, and it's encouraging, uh, and it's inspirational, and uh, and especially in a place like South Dakota, it's not exactly an ivory tower for uh, activists and people that are concerned about peace and social justice. So to be here in this milieu uh, is uh, is very exciting. Now, um, you, you could talk a lot about a lot of things. You um, have or had a publishing company, right? Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, for about eight years, uh, we did a little Catholic worker publishing company uh, out of Marion, South Dakota. We had an acreage there. We are doing a Catholic worker farm. Uh, and we also published uh, titles by people like Daniel Berrigan, uh, by uh, Liz McAllister, uh, and, uh, and other folks uh, traditionally called the Catholic left. Cleaver of the Catholic Worker Movement. We published a book by him. Uh, and then we also published uh, local South Dakota poets uh, and, work, and, and writers who otherwise may not have uh, a publishing outlet. So we tried to do independent publishing. Wonderful. Gosh, yeah. So um, tell me, how big is the community there? And how, how big, how has it fluctuated? And how many years has it existed? Right. Uh, we started doing hospitality in February of 2005. Uh, we have uh, just one large hospitality house where we have three to four families a week. Uh, and, uh, and then the community itself is myself, Beth Preheim, my wife, Father Leonard Kaiser, who's a diocesan priest who's retired, and Dagmar Hoxie, who is, uh, who is uh, 80 years old and going strong uh, as a, a member of the community. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, that's, and, and we, like I said, we've been doing uh, the hospitality since February of uh, 2005. We formed as a community in 2003, and it took us a while to get ourselves together uh, to get the house opened up. We bought a condemned house, we renovated it, and uh, that's where we do the hospitality. Great, and just to, uh, to close for the record here, since I never interview myself, Mike and I go way back to the Des Moines Catholic Worker in uh, May 1981. We came together and have known each other for a long, long time. <laughs> and uh, we have that uh, very single, uh, unique experience in common. And we both came as guests. And uh, as Frank says, I'm, I'm the most improved guest ever to come here. <laughs> and Mike is a very dear special person. Hey, God bless you. Thank you. All right. Makes us popular lepers in the colony. Right on. Great. <laughs> right. All right. Thanks, Axel. Cool. Thank Thanks. you. Yeah, you next, man.